What's up? Alright, I'm excited about this. I found this on Thingiverse because it's the whole Halloween deal and people were doing this for costumes and I was like, that's cool. I've seen these um, iris boxes before and I thought it was just a really cool use of them. So I wanted to go ahead and print one and see how they work. So let's go ahead and pull it off the build plate, maybe. I used a lot of uh, that stick glue because I wanted to make sure that nothing popped off. So it might be a little bit difficult. Pop that off. So that's a spring. I used E3D Edge Filament, which is a pet G. And um, it's, they say it's stringy, but I seem to have found some print settings that make it not very stringy. And uh, when I kept checking back on it, all the internal parts seemed to be pretty uh, separate. Like there wasn't a lot of strings between them. That does not fit my face at all. But, print looks pretty good. These iris boxes are going to be what I need to break loose. What do y'all think? Is it just gonna like pop open and start working? Just the first time? <laughs> Probably not. Bam. Maybe it's the ring. It's just frozen. Let's go around the ring and see. <gasps> oh my gosh. I think that's it. Holy crap. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> Whoever designed this, good job, sir. That is... I know this is a remix of the original uh, Iris box, but the guy who designed the original one, dead gum. So you're going like, <laughs> okay. So the trick to these, as I learned on this one, cut all those tabs and free the pedals. Roomba. Then you come and you take. Uh, what I'm using is just a razor blade. Wedge it between the um, lower ring and the outer shell. You'll see a little space. Just stick it in there and then slowly like pry on it and you'll start hearing clicking. Oh, there we go. All right. The mechanisms, they were still kind of sticky, uh, and I figured out with this one, I went ahead and did it. It's like super easy to do now. And what I did was I just took this, put it in my palm, and then just like kind of did that, and I can feel like, it feels kind of gritty. You can kind of hear it. When I, and I'm, I'm pushing the two, this outer shell and this ring together, and then I'm rotating. I'm not like, you know, trying to break it, but I'm putting a pretty good force into it, and then I'm just kind of slowly, Almost like I'm sanding. I'm using the two pieces to sand each other down so that they conform. So they have two smooth surfaces and it's no longer gritty. Just do that for a while and then it will eventually smooth up and it's just like, it's very easy. And then that's when the spring actually can return it. I'm getting hungry. Should have bought a sandwich. <gasps> My arms are burning. 3D printing, it's the new CrossFit. How's it look? Yeah. These frames uh, don't fit my face very well, and they're incredibly fragile. Uh, just putting them on, I already cracked the uh, nose piece, so I went ahead and hot glued that along with the arm that I broke pulling off the plate, and then I just got a bunch of, I didn't have a strap, so I just daisy chained a bunch of rubber bands together that I had, 
and then um, making sure that it doesn't pull too tight on my face. It kind of just sits. Otherwise, things start to kind of break. But you want to blink when you pull it. You don't want to have to hold it open while you're walking around looking. And if you let go, it closes on you. I mean, you could, I guess. You just have to reverse them. But the way, it makes the most sense to me. And then once you figured out which side goes where, go ahead and have the, the box open. And then have that tab go straight up in, uh, into the goggles. So that way, you can pull. And then when it's opened, it's lined back up. Uh, that way it, gives, it puts the spring in tension so it has enough strength to, to close them back. And we'll do the same thing with this one. So you want, that's how you want the action to be going. You want to pull the string and to close, and then the spring pulls back and opens it up. All right, and then go ahead and tie your, uh, I'm not even sure if you can see that in the video, but tie your filament or string or whatever to these spring ends, and then just slide it into these little grooves. And then you should be able to rock and roll. How did that dude in the video get it to stick on his face so well? That's fun. Dad gum it! Oh, so my hand is Just like this. Um, I wish I could blink and have one shut and one open, but you can't really do that. They both have to be simultaneously uh, pulled. You can't pull one at a time. But it works pretty good. It's pretty cool. If I pull straight down, it pulls them off my face. That's why I'm pulling them out to the side. I love that sound too. This is kind of a, I don't know. I really do think if you got some servos on this and maybe put some like a little, oh, this would be cool. So you put light sensors on the inside of the goggles, like in here. And then like an LED on the other side, like red or some cool color, so like your eyes are lit up. Um, the the light sensor, whenever your eyes are open, would detect a reflection. It would be a higher reflection than when your eyes were closed. And it could just basically detect whenever your eyes are open, it would send the uh, signal to the servos to open the iris. And whenever you actually blink, that way it like blinked with you. And you wouldn't need to tug on anything. Or That would be pretty slick. Um, again... If somebody out there wants to do the coding for me, I've got bucket loads of Arduinos and servos and sensors and everything. I'll do the modeling. I'll do all the hard work. I just need somebody to please make this code so that I can make these goggles fully autonomous and none of this puppeteering business. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, these definitely work. Uh, it takes a little bit of love to get everything worked out. Um, but, um, it's a really cool idea. Uh, I think that you could definitely take it and run with it and make some pretty cool, uh, cosplay or goggles or whatever you're into. I just really appreciate the mechanics of the Iris box. That to me just like warms my heart seeing all those parts printed at one time, uh, an entire mechanism printed in one piece that you can then kind of break stuff loose and then starts working. So. Um, for me, it was more for the iris boxes, but for you, you might be looking for some cool goggles and a cool effect or whatever. But just know that the goggles are a little bit brittle and that the iris boxes take some, some working to get opening. But um, yeah, it's a great model. Uh, everything printed well. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, of course. Put comments down below if you have any questions. I'd be glad to answer them. And I will see you next time.